back over to you. All right, Greg, thanks so much. Well, all this morning we're talking about resolutions in one form or another, and a popular one is getting organized. So this morning, society stylist Valerie Elizabeth is here to tell us about the seven day closet cleanse. Hello, Valerie. Hello. Okay, so everyone has either diet or get organized. So we put together the closet cleanse, a little diet for your closet. And you know, I think everyone wants to do this, but they get into it, you know, you're about an hour into it, all of a sudden your room looks like a disaster. Yes. You're like, what did I just do? Throw everything back in the closet okay. and go watch a movie yeah, or something. I have been there too because it gets a little overwhelming and then you can't go to bed at night because all the stuff is now piled on top of exactly. your bed. Exactly, and people tell us, you know, they say, how long does it take you to do this? And I say a minimum of 10 hours for someone's closet. Wow. Even a very, very small closet. Okay, that's a and lot of hours. It is a lot of time. So what we've done is we've broken it down into, you know, two hours a day, which is a commitment, but it's something more manageable and something you might be able to do after work instead of killing an entire weekend and feeling like did I really just do that that's all I did all weekend was like dig myself out from okay my so where do we start okay so the first thing that we say is do a quick overhaul you have to start day one we say you know it's your preparation day. Okay. Go through, kind of find four different things that you're going to divide. You're going to have, you know, a bag for your trash. The maybe dry cleaner, hangers, yeah, and the bags. Okay. Exactly. Get, you know, go through real quickly. You know, if you have stuff in your purse, dump it. You know, the old tissues. You know, wrappers, <laughs> receipts, whatever. All the gum wrappers that I have everywhere because I'm chewing exactly. gum all the time. Okay, exactly. Okay. Have a trash bin. Have a okay. repair bin. This have is repairs. like this is worth saving. You don't want to throw it out, but yes. it needs to be repaired. Things that you know they need to go to the tailor. Things maybe they need to go. In the laundry and somehow they ended up back in your closet. <laughs> things you need to take to the dry cleaners, things that have, you know, maybe that dress you bought two years ago and you haven't worn because it's two sizes too big and yeah. you really just have to have it tailored. Or two sizes too small. Well, um, okay. that might go in the maybe pile. <laughs> okay. Well, then we have okay. that brings us to our next pile. And things Give to get away, rid of. Donate. Things you can quickly get rid of. Okay, all the free bags you get when you either buy makeup yes. or, you know, you buy a new set of luggage and they give you seven bags inside that you may or may not actually use. Yes. Anything you're not using that for some reason you're like, oh, this was given to me, so I should keep it. Get rid of it. Give it to someone who's going to use it and make space for the things that you I are love using. that because you know we all have all of this in our closet. Absolutely. That's the first thing that people don't realize is how they can't get to the stuff they really like because right. it's cluttered with the other things. Exactly. This is my favorite bit on the table, though, Valerie Elizabeth, because we could spend an hour going, do I want Maybe. this? Do I not want this? What should I do with this? You say move on. Just yes. not too if sure. You, if you're not sure there. on it, throw it in the maybe pile and come back to it because you really are going to waste a lot of time making that decision otherwise. And so then we say, okay, on day two, let's start breaking it down on what you're going to do each day. Day two, say we're going to do shoes and handbags okay. and focus on one thing in your closet that's manageable that you can see a difference. And shoes and handbags are really an easy thing to go through because you can, you know, you really know either these shoes fit or they don't fit. Like maybe I love this shoe. It's really cute. It doesn't fit me. Okay. So so <laughs> it doesn't matter what I do to repair it, it doesn't fit. Right. Give it to someone else, consign it. And donate it. Exactly. Also, when you look at items of clothing, like, is it yellowing? Is it staining? Exactly. Is it you know, has this shirt started peeling? Did this shirt shrink? Okay, no, it's not going to fit me anymore. It's now a child size. It's not going to come back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, if you have oil on your shirt, if you have mustard, things that can't come out, yeah. these are things just let them go and, yeah. and make space and like for you the said, stuff like you love. Especially the sweaters, they, they do run their course. They do pill and stuff. And so maybe um, you know, donating some things because yes. maybe it's not going to be a great professional look for you to wear to work anymore but, but for it, someone somebody else can use it. they can absolutely. use it absolutely a lot of the charities in the area are really looking for donations right now okay. and so we you know we just encourage you to purge 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 so that what's left in your closet you can then organize you can decide okay where am i going to go for the new year what do i need to fill in how do i make my closet really you know what i call camera ready where every time you walk in it looks great you can pick something out it makes your morning routine we a little bit easier we all Valerie Elizabeth you know <laughs> stressful it is when your closet just looks like a bomb hit it. Okay, next week you're going to come back because you're going to teach us now that we're starting to purge and separate. The next step is to really make your closet look nice because now you've got 
piles of stuff everywhere. Now we've Absolutely. got to put it back We're in. We're going to tell you what to do with them, where to repair things, where to take things for the dry cleaners, and how in one step you can really change the look of your closet just by changing the hangers. Yeah, the hangers are a big deal because when you have all these mismatched hangers, la la, look at over here. You've already started to demonstrate what we're going to uh, focus on next week. Just when you put nice, uniform, well-structured hangers on that rack, it makes such a huge difference. Thanks for getting our 2011 off to the right start, Valerie. Very useful information. And for now, we're going to continue our resolutions and send it over to Rob. All right. Thanks, Amy.